Hello and welcome back to Be Hooked Crochet's yarn review series, where you can learn everything you need to know about a yarn before making your purchase. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to Red Heart Scrubby. Red Heart Scrubby yarn is a unique yarn that's available on the market, and as the name implies, it's really great for making dish scrubbies or washcloths. I've even heard of people making bath loofahs or face scrubbies out of these. And what makes this yarn so great for these types of projects is the unique, well, two ways. The unique fibers that you see here, these little finger-like pieces that are coming from the strand that make it perfect for scrubbing, and the fact that it's 100% polyester. So that fact right there makes this yarn dry much faster than a cotton yarn. So you can expect that these are going to dry quicker, so it's going to cut down on the odor and any type of mold buildup that's going to be in there. The other great thing about this yarn is that it's washable. So you can throw it in the washer and in the dryer anytime it gets too dirty and you need to have it cleaned. So looking at the details here, Red Heart Scrubby is a worsted weight yarn. And that's where we see the number four here. So it's it's a medium weight. They recommend that you use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And that size can vary depending on what type of project you're working with. But just keep that in mind. Your crochet gauge, when working in single crochets, if you have 13 stitches across by 15 rows high, it's gonna be a four inch square. And then of course, as I mentioned before, this is machine washable. You wanna do that on the gentle cycle and you can tumble dry in the low setting. Now something that Red Heart does really well is offering a lot of different color options and there's no exception with their scrubby yarn line. It's currently available in about 20 different colorways and you can see some on the back side of the screen there. I have a few different colorways that I'm currently working with. But you can also expect some brand new colorways to be available in April of 2016. So there are two options as far as the colorways go for the scrubby yarn. You have solids and multis. And so the solids, as the name implies, is just a solid yarn. And you can typically expect that these are going to be brighter, more vibrant colors. Then we have these multis and it's not really a striping yarn so I wouldn't be expecting that. It's more of like a, a variegated or a painted yarn where you have shorter color, wave, uh, color transitions. So you can see in this version right here the, uh, the color transitions are a couple of inches long so this is going to look more of like a mosaic than a stripe when you're working this one up. You will see a slight difference in the amount of yardage that you get for each type of skein. The solids are going to come with 92 yards, or 85 meters, and the multis are going to come in 78 yard skeins, or 71 meters. So you want to take that into account when you're planning a project using the scrubby yarn. For those of you who follow me on my Facebook page and my Instagram account, you probably know that I have been working with this yarn for the last several days. And typically before I do a yarn review, I like to work with something for a while, get a few projects under my belt so I can get a, a very good unbiased opinion of my experience with this yarn. And so that was the case with this. I had never tried Red Heart Scrubby before. And so what I'm going to give you now is just my experience with this yarn. So what I thought about it, how it felt in my hands, and whether I would recommend this or not to a friend. So when you see this yarn wrapped up in a skein like you do here, you don't really get the full effect of what the yarn fiber looks like. So it's actually a bunch of little fibers that come off the strand, and those are what work together to create the scrubby. Now one of the questions I received on my Facebook and Instagram accounts were, is this does this hurt your hands? Does it make your finger sore to work with over a long period of time? Or is there any discomfort at all? And so my impression on that was yes initially, but just a little bit. When you feel this yarn, it, it doesn't feel like yarn, okay? So it is, like I mentioned before, 100% polyester. So it does have 
a little bit more of a scratchy feel to it. But if we think about what it's used for, that's what works in its favor. So we want it to be a little bit scratchy. And when using this to crochet with, the only part that I felt any kind of discomfort was my yarn finger. So as it rolled across my finger here, after working with it for probably 30 minutes or so, I could feel just a little bit of discomfort on my finger, but it wasn't anything that would keep me from using it. So I was able to finish my project and I had no problem. Then I worked with it for several hours the next day and I didn't feel that discomfort at all. So I think it was just a matter of me getting used to it and just figuring out my tension and how I needed to just keep the yarn over my finger. The other big concern that came up on Facebook and Instagram about this yarn was the visibility of the stitches. And so as you can imagine, there's very little stitch definition to this yarn. So it is going to be a little bit more difficult to see your stitches. Now that's not to say you can't see them or you wouldn't use other methods to know where you use your hook. So in my opinion, when you're working with it a yarn like this, you need to pick a pattern that's very simple. And honestly, you don't really need a complex pattern. You don't need any texture or anything like that. So what I have chosen for my projects using this yarn is finding the most simple pattern as possible. So to give you an idea of what a project looks like when you've worked it up using Scrubby, here are a couple examples. Now you're going to see patterns for these available at BeHookedCrochet.com and it will be shortly after the release of this yarn review. So we have a standard dish scrubby here that I have created in order to, to work sort of as a pot scrubber or a dish scrubber or anything like that. It's really sturdy, rather thick, so this would be ideal for really messy, dirty situations. So this is surprisingly easy to make. So that is one way you can work with this yarn. The other pattern that you're going to see is for like a scrubby dishcloth. And I've constructed this by using just a very simple pattern like I was mentioning before. This is just a, a standard crochet circle, but you have the yarn working towards you in your favor. So you have the texture from the yarn itself, you can change colors to add some interest, but yet you have something that's relatively easy for you to make. The other thing that is really working in its favor, and the reason that I would tell people not to be afraid of this yarn or the, the style of this yarn, is that it's very forgiving. So if you are having problems seeing your stitches or if you count wrong or if you accidentally increase, if you look at it here, you're not going to see any of those little mistakes. So if there's one great word to describe Red Heart Scrubby, I would say forgiving. To summarize things, I will say that I enjoyed working with Red Heart Scrubby. Now it's not something that I would use on an everyday basis. It does serve a very specific purpose, but it does so really well. My overall experience with it is that Initially, you can tell a difference because of the type of material. You know, it, it is a scrubby yarn. It, it serves its purpose very well, but you just want to keep that in mind when you're working with it. So you will feel a difference on your fingers. I've heard that there have been some discoloration and hook associated with this yarn. So some people who are Susan Bates users or the Boy brand that have sort of the colored finish, I've heard where working with this yarn repeatedly, they experience some color loss in their hooks. I personally use my Tulip Edimo hooks and I didn't have that experience. So I would keep that in mind if you're a boy or a Susan Bates user. However, if you use Tulip hooks like myself, you shouldn't experience any problem like that. 
If you'd like to try a Red Heart Scrubby yourself, then you can pick up a skein or two at your local Walmart store. Or if you can't find any in your area, you can always order it from redheart.com. If you're looking for inspiration on how to use the Red Heart Scrubby, there are free patterns available at redheart.com. And then you can also look forward to the tutorial for the scrubby set that will be available at BeHookedCrochet.com the week that this yarn review is released. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Red Heart Yarns, for sponsoring this yarn review and our upcoming pattern and video tutorial on the scrubby set. Let us know how we're doing. Leave your thoughts about Red Heart Scrubby in the comments below. Tell us your experience and, and how you like it and whether or not you would recommend it to a friend. On behalf of BeHookedCrochet.com as well as RedHeart.com, I'm your host Brittany. Stay tuned for next time.